you know, that's how she was feeling. So <clears throat> there's the animal lying there. I'm, of course, hoping it's dead already, but it wasn't. It was breathing and it was lying on its side with this big brown eye, you know, staring up. And I'm thinking, up until that moment, I'm like, well, how hard could it be? Okay, you just, you know, you do what you have to do. Well, what, how is that? You can't just shoot it anywhere. You, you gotta cause a catastrophic neurological injury that's gonna produce instant death. That's best, you know, that's the ideal outcome. And so, you know, I go, and now the head, you know, the animal's lying there, and, and I'm like, well, where exactly is the brain? Now, Margaret's on her knees, bidding farewell to the animal, talking to it, calling it by name, and, you know, <laughs> you know okay, you know, and she said, well, and, you know, it's this big shaggy head, and I know that llama brains are small, as well as sheep brains, and, you know, you want to hit the brain, and where is it exactly? And she goes, well, I don't really know. <laughs> and you know about this intertubricular inter groove on the ear bone, <laughs> you know what the llama's brain is? God damn it, Jesus, I, you know, I mean, I want to be a good friend here, you know. And so, she says, well, I think maybe about here. So, so then, so I go, okay, and I brought my work gloves, I put my work gloves on, because I'm thinking, well, I don't know, I've never, perhaps needless to say, I had never killed anything, as, you know, bigger than a perch before. And, and you know, I, it never killed a, you know, a mammal or anything, a creature, a large creature. And so, uh, you know, I, I, I'm like, well, is there going to be blowback? Is there going to, you know, am I going to get brain tissue on me? What if it has some hideous disease that I could catch? What, you know, I mean, I don't know. You know I had no idea. And so uh, I, I put my leather work gloves on and I pick up the gun and I realize that the gloves are too thick for me to really feel the trigger. So I put it down again. I take the gloves off. I'm barehanded. I have the gun. And Margaret is standing there and I go, okay, well, stand clear and cover your ears. And then I'm like, okay, so I think I know where I want to aim, but how close do I get the barrel? I instinctively, I know I don't want the barrel touching the animal, but, I, I, but the farther away I go, the more likely it is that I won't make a clean shot. So I'm like, <clears throat> and so I finally take my own advice, I just do it, you know, just fucking do it. And so I hovered the gun about 10 inches over the animal's head, and I pulled the trigger, and fortunately it worked, and the animal, I hit it, I made a clean shot, it convulsed and was dead. And we got the whiskey out then. <laughs> because you really, you know, I, I, not, not all of us are drinkers, but man, I sure needed one at the moment. Now, you know, I, actually, the last interesting thing that happened was, wh when, we, when we went up to the pasture, all the other animals in it were way at the far corner from this down one. As soon as it was over, all the other sheep and llamas walked over, came walking up, and walked to, over to us and made a little semicircle, and we were just watching. <laughs> they were there again. Uh, animals have many, uh, God, they're just, there's, there's a lot of mystery to them, you know? I'm not much of a pet person, but really, uh, they're, they're amazing. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Why did I tell you, why did I tell you all that? Well, the point is that all of our experience, I've been trying to show and, and, and demonstrate how our experience informs our, our writing and our life. Uh, a situation can challenge us, it can challenge our humanity, it can challenge our skills, um, it can challenge our ideas, and one, you know, you might get ripped from your your incessant mental world into a situation of intense immediacy. And if we keep our hearts open with no fear and no neediness, then we can, we can serve and witness and create, and it will be good. I thank you very much for your kind attention, and now I will take questions.